Yo, bro. Incredible, bro. Incredible. Yeah, bro. It's, it's, that show is fire, bro. Yo. Where, where, where that guy is? Oh, yeah, nah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm reaching out, bro. I want to get him on the pod, man. Because that was, um, um, dog. Oh, man. I don't even, I'm trying to process it, right? right. Bro, because look, look how he ended the shit. Like, you're, we're thinking the shit, the asteroid exploded and they all died on it. Yeah. Right? So when I see Bishop come at the end, I'm thinking, oh, they're going to go through, like, he's going to go try to reverse it. Nah, these motherfuckers are stuck in time, bro. And different time periods, too. Yeah. And they get to see, like, a young, a young Nathan, bro. bro a young cable. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's incredible. This guy's penmanship is crazy, bro. Crazy. Like, yeah. like I don't even, like, a young There's, apocalypse too. What's that? And then, and yeah. And then, does this mean do they get to affect him? It's because if they get to influence him, especially Xavier asked with his mind control, do they influence him and make him like a it, good person? Exactly, bro. bro like that's oh, or halfway decent. You know what I mean? Yeah, I I have no I. Yeah, that's 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 the next level writing, bro. There's not a lot of there's not a lot of um like writers that write for shows of this like magnet like you know in the comic oh like, yeah, hell yeah comic i know what you mean like yeah there's not a lot of writers that would go in the direction that both the male went because not a lot of writers care bro he's a fan i like sometimes he's a when sometimes you guys sometimes when you guys are on a podcast i like like my job like i work as a curator for an art company so i work <laughs> like with a lot of these rich people and shit yeah because I started, like, you know, oh, you're, like, cool and black, and you kind of, like, have that standoffish personality. Yeah. And they found out that I fought and shit, so I was, like, I would, like, be hanging out with a lot of these, like, people in Hollywood. Yeah. And it's weird how they talk about movies, bro. Like, a lot of these people, like, Zack Snyder doesn't deserve another movie. Like, this right. dude deserves to take over this series and do the live action. Oh. Uh, and, bro, I'm you know mad, what I mean? Imagine. Imagine. Scripts for the X-Men live action films, bro. Like, and I'm, I'm trying to figure out what was this, why, why would Disney part ways with this man? What, like, they got to get that shit together, bro, because they done parted with James Gunn and then allowed him to come back and he had some questionable shit, bro. It can't be any worse than what this motherfucker James Gunn was into. So let this man work, bro, because I ain't seen nothing like this before bro that's what's good bro like in bastion like he wrote bastion so good bro like bastion was them oh my god <laughs> like like yeah he kept, bro had the hulk he kept up yo bro episode bro bro add in the hulk smash the hulk slap with with, with robe and then using mr fantastic <laughs> to catch him with more i was like this morph motherfucker bro morph is it morph is, is see that's what I'm saying. Thirty years ago, when they had more, more for shifting the people, but he wouldn't. Dwayne. He wouldn't. Do anything. Yeah, yeah. Like the writing and the animation, bro. And the animation so good, like you could feel the emotions of these characters, bro. Yeah. They, cause I, like I keep saying, like they keep using the anime approach, bro, with the, with the visuals and how things are moving. They go from two D yeah. to three. You know the little smirks, the 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 the, the facial expressions. Like, it's it's incredible, bro. Like this is. Like I try to tell people, bro. Like they'd be like, "Oh, I need something to watch." You watch the X Men '97. It's like, "Oh, the kids show." It's not a kids show. <laughs> it's not a kids show, bro. My wife is mad as shit now because I was telling her about it. She's like, "Wait, they came out with the new one." Like I've been told you, we watched one episode together. She's like, "No, we didn't." I was like, "Yo, it's pretty lit. Like you need to join me." Yeah, she's coming to watch that shit. Yeah. Nah, she's yeah. this fucker. This fucker did it, bro. Like I really don't like watching and waiting for shows. I just let it pile up. And like every week, I was like, I'm not missing this shit. Yo, you couldn't. I That's I why most of these weeks, I was up at this time watching the shit. Like, because it was that good. Like, it's that good, bro. Like, I didn't want to wait. I don't, especially this episode. I did not want to get spoiled by anything, bro. You can look at the wrong thing by accident. And then you're spoiled. So, over. Yeah, and it, it takes away from it, right? So shows like this, you gotta you gotta jump on it, man. I can only imagine. So look, look, so 
we got we got this shit right like this shit is incredible like this set the standard for a lot of shit so but in a couple weeks we get deadpool and wolverine so i know because they always they always do a lot of reshoots bro i'm pretty and i think they're doing reshoots right now so, yeah so imagine them watching the show getting the reaction and be like all right let's add this to it too though like to the movie you know what i'm saying like oh yeah I think yeah. Ryan, so, Reynolds, Ryan Reynolds is a big enough nerd to like do some shit like that too. Right. That's the thing. Right. And um this this yo, I ain't gonna lie, like I really like I you know when you can watch shows and every show is the same. Yeah. Like I still didn't see the ending coming. You know? <gasps> but but then again, it's everything you guys talked about and they gave you everything you wanted. You understand you that we all <laughs> talked about we talked about apocalypse, <laughs> we talked about time travel. Yeah. We talked about the young Scott Summers. We talked about everything. And then they, that nigga was listening to us. and was like, oh, yeah, that's what y'all want. Cool. Got you. Here's everything. He, like you said, he's really a fan. Like, he he, he loves this shit, bro. He, he, like, he loves this shit. Like, he's a fan. He and he, he honored, like, he honored every character that was portrayed. And he just, he did everybody justice, bro. Like, he, he made yeah. sign the dude that we he was supposed to be uh, that he ended up being uh, in, like he 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 restored the the respect to cyclops yeah. the scott summer oh, yeah. which was which is made which is very important to to because he's a leader bro like he he's supposed to sit at the same table with captain america iron man and them cats bro and the the movies the live action movies did them dirty oh, um yeah. oh, not and he was wasn't terrible in the in the animated series, but he w- he wasn't he still wasn't himself. Mm. Like he was better than what they what he was written. And Bo DeMeo brought everything back to him that he was supposed to have before, bro. Like, dang. And then and Gene is written so much better, bro. Like, because Gene was kind of lifeless in yeah. the animated series. He didn't have much of a personality, and now she has a she has an awesome personality. Like, like I can, like I care about her now. <laughs> like I didn't really care for her. She's more. You notice on the low, and I'm gonna say it. Mm-hmm. She was more for the cause than Storm. Yo, hundred percent. She was. Did you waiting. notice that? Did you hear? Like, did you notice that dialogue? Yeah. Like, I was like listening to her. She was like, like she was like, nah, we're family. Blah 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 blah. Like, I was like, that's weird. They're like connected now. Her and Storm are like actual sister. It's weird, like the way he wrote it. He wrote it like the motherfuckers actually grew up in a mansion together, and that's how it's, and that's, that's how it's dangerous shit. That's how it's supposed to be, bro. They supposed to. That's care. how it's supposed to be. Yeah, it's it's really crazy. Like, do they really find that guy for the next season? Yo, well, he he, he already wrote season two. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fuck it. Like, it's, it, they already got it, and I'm pretty sure. Like, I think he's gonna get back in the fold, bro. Yeah. Like, there's no way. Like he, the writing. He, it, if he quit or if he quit or got fired, that means he probably got another bigger um, project. That's what usually happens. Well, yeah. And he's starting to split his time. And then they, like, the studio's like, yo, you know, nah, motherfucker, we need you, like, working like them Japanese dudes. And he's like, no, nah, we're not doing that today. That up. Fucking Miss Ralphie today. But you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, man. Yeah, nah. I, I mean, <laughs> that's, that's not even a bad thing because that sounds to me like he can come back. Like, throw the, throw the, throw, throw the, throw the whole bank boat at him because this guy is good, man. And like Magneto. Oh my God, bro. The the lines he gave Magneto, it literally mirrored, um, the lines of like Ian McKellen and, and Michael Fassbender, bro. Like, he's it's just on par, like. That mm-hmm. that Mac is on par with his delivery, with his power, and I'm not even talking about his actual mutant powers. I'm talking about the power of his presence and the power in his voice. You heard it, like I think the way he said it. He was like, "You can't see your parent. You can't see him because you never saw their face." And I think it just flashed back to hearing the boots. He could <laughs> like the way they draw it, the animation. They draw the eyes like the action scene, like you know, they draw it like in the action scene. So everything, even the emotions. They hyper focus on his eyes. You like look. You gonna watch that shit? I'm super nerdy into this shit, bro. Like I've I've been out here too fucking long. I've been in a TV production. 
I like work like yeah, bro. So you be like see certain shit I'm talking about. They like like the fucking eyes never lie. Like the way they did it, you like see distress, bro. It's like, and then the part was like, nah, man, you were our family. He's like, why? Because we had a fucking dream together. Exactly. It's like, so it's like, oh fuck. It's like and, uh, you called him though too. Fuck. <laughs> Magneto brought up they had a dream in earlier in the season. So mm-hmm. so it's not like like it's it's. It's a callback to even earlier in the season, bro. Like, it's it's just next level. He's just it's just a lot of levels to his writing, bro. Like, he um, he's just really good at what he does. I did I, before this. I didn't even know who he was, bro. Like, <laughs> that's just like crazy to me. That now that I think about it, I don't. I never paid attention to Bo DeMeo to anything he did. So I did, I really didn't know who he was. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't. And now I have to go back and see. Like, I have to go. I have to go check his whether is it. IMD. Check his IMDb. See what he yeah. got. Check that to see like, yo, have I watched anything that he's been a part of? Like, had a hand in um, something because this is man. I, I'm just I don't know. Bro. I'm telling I, you, man. There's certain there's certain projects out there, bro, that don't get like or certain directors or producers mm-hmm. that they mm-hmm. do a project and you like, uh, and the public don't like it, and then what like. 10, 15 years from now, like, you're like, what the fuck? Yo, this shit is kind of fucking dope. You know? Bro, I'm telling you, I said it once, um, I, I typed in that um, movie Transcendence with Johnny Depp. Uh-huh. I'm telling you, bro, one day in the future, we're going to look back at that movie after AI is, like, beating us into the earth, and we're going to be looking back like, damn, this movie was trying to tell us something. What the fuck? There's it's a lot. Of, I mean, there's so a many. lot of shit out there. Like, and there's a lot of artists out there, like, who do shit like this for the X Men? You be like, yo, this guy was way ahead of his fucking time, yeah, bro. Yeah, life, uh, art imitates life. Life imitates art. It go, it, all that shit goes hand in hand, bro. Like, the shit is, um, just the shit is incredible, bro. Like, I, I got, um, I'm definitely, definitely gonna put that shit on one more time, <laughs> and then, even if I pass out during it, bro, I just gotta, I gotta put it on. Watch gotta, again. Gotta watch. I gotta, gotta put it on again. And then, um, yeah, the pot. Like, I can't wait for the podcast tomorrow because it. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna have so much. I'm probably gonna, by the time I by the time by the time tomorrow's over, I probably watch it like four or five times, bro. <laughs> four or five. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah probably, probably four or five times, bro. Because I gotta. There's so much, bro, and I know I already know I missed certain things and stuff like that dog you see all those damn damn cameos like he was it was like a and it was like an end game worthy to a type of cameos yeah, bro. Fuck him. all right he had he already had yeah what is it what is it um what's that group the illuminati yeah bro like right like, so so, so captain yeah, america yeah. no he's not part of it. i'm so i'm so well, sorry he was no, no he, part, did, yeah. he was part of it in some iterations but you had a version of Black Panther that wasn't even T'Challa, it was T'Chaka. Mm-hmm. His pops. You had um, yeah, Iron Man. Doctor Captain, Strange. Doctor Strange. Um, Daredevil. It, um, Peter Pure, Parker. Mary, Mary Jane. Sick. That was awesome. Like, Peter didn't even put his suit on, bro. He was like, fuck this shit. I'm gonna hang out with this lady. Um, they so had... This, this, the Silver Samurai guy. Um, Samurai. Omega Red. Omega Red and... Um, I forget her name. North Star or whatever her name is. That's Russian. Then you had um you had like uh Psylocke and I think she I think they had Puck with her. I gotta go back and see. Like this it it was just I a tell. ton of cameos. And they kept teasing and they they almost I know it's a tease, bro. Like they were like teasing like the the Avengers were about to get called yeah. on, bro. Yeah, I saw that shit too. You saw it too. I was like oh. You saw it too. So the Asher, like, what's happening? That, but uh, they. I think I think the next time there's, there's a little big little scuff like that, the Avengers gonna get called. You know why? Because you saw it, they were like, "Don't do the missiles." You keep you heard T'Challa like history book gonna remember. So like, like you know when we made a mistake, if we try to blow them up, they're trying to delay those missiles. Mm-hmm. And this is like, it's <laughs> like we can't do anything. President was like, "Nah, we about to blow this shit the fuck up." <laughs> Almost, almost, almost destroyed the planet doing that. Made no sense. Oh my god! But, but yo, but that's that's listen. That's a that's 
that's the type of shit that could happen in in real life. Like you get you get a you get a idiot leader talking about oh we got to end the problem and which can hurt the whole <laughs> this whole realm and shit. Mm-hmm. It's it's a uh, nah. It's just it's just very it's just very very realistic, bro. Because it uh we we live in a, a a place of ignorance and and um so people as it's th- as it slowly gets better, it's still a ton of people that just don't fuck with other people, bro. And some of these people are in power. So it's just it's just the show itself is just like what can happen when it gets really bad. And it's always did possible. You, did you hear what Bastion said? And Which that's part? Why, uh, that's why I texted it to you. And if uh like it's it's a he's just saying the extreme version of what most like like super hard right wing Republicans are oh. saying, Toler- tolerance is extinction. Tolerance is also empathy. Yeah, and like you know what it is. Like they think like it's like the white replacement theory. They think they're getting replaced. That's their like you know that's and- the tolerance. You're showing tolerance to immigrants. You're gonna get extinct. You then you show empathy for them. Then you get extinct. You know what I mean? So and it's like it's it's sad. That- that's what that's what that's what the whole that's what the whole mutant agenda is about bro it's about them taking the place of in this in this genre humans mm-hmm. humans are threatened they keep there's more and more mutants every generation and they threaten and instead of embracing them they rap they try to eliminate the threat but yeah they keep failing at eliminating the threat right so that's basically what's happening in real life bro like they keep trying to eliminate the quote-unquote threat yeah and we still here <laughs> and we still and not for nothing a lot of us is thriving so yeah. you know what i'm saying like the at some point you gotta choose you gotta you gotta choose the right side and in the show there's got to be a point where humanity got to choose the right side bro but it never gets to that point because what the x-men what the x-men always been about through the comics bro is they are always hated on so it's hard for them to win like they can't get wins and then anytime it gets really good you know some bad's about to happen something always yeah. happens but bro that's just get, life bro and, i'm telling you 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 have to give Stan Lee like there's certain writers Stan Stan Lee Frank Herbert who wrote Dune you have to give them their props because yeah. Frank Herbert said something he's like you could write a nonfiction story and hide it in fiction every time oh like, yeah all the shit he writes about the Fremen is just the shit that's happening in like right now in the Middle East let's be real like you know what I mean we're trying to take over their land for oil I'm like yeah. the shit that you see we watch the X Men today is like they were having life good. In Genosha, what happened? They got fucked up, bro. And the whole time you're like, mm, it's kind of too good out here today. Yeah, you know. Listen, man, that just all that reminds me of the Black Wall Street story, bro. Mm-hmm. Because people were thriving out there, bro. They were thriving. Mm-hmm. They didn't need, you know, there was nothing. You know, they were just building and and getting better, bro. And they burnt that to the ground, bro. The whole thing. They great what all, like. On wild sentinel type shit, just mm-hmm. that shit, bro, because of the threat. Because at the end of the day, they 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 knew. <laughs> like they no, just... it's yeah, it's just like you say, oh, they're inferior, but when they're working together, and unite, and you're like, oh shit, hold up, like yeah, that's, that's that. you know, yeah. it's hard to push that narrative. Like yeah. I brought, I promise you, dude, like. I'm all in this shit, man. I know, like, I've been a good family, good people around me, show me and teach me the way and shit. So I know how it is. And a lot of these writers, man, they try to like tell a story through their cartoons. Like this dude, that's mm-hmm. probably shit. That's, that's probably why they were like, nah, you, 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 you trying to get too woke? Oh. Probably, probably, this he probably caught on. Brisbane was like, yo, ass too woke. You think you slick, motherfucker? We gonna fire your ass. Both. <laughs> I'd fire his ass too. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you try to fuck out my coins. Republicans watch my show too, nigga. <laughs> Give me a gun and badge. That's why. <laughs> 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 
you can turn in your gun and badge. You find it. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Not to get that damn real. So, um, but yo, he wrote that um that episode five the way it was. He based that off of that Orlando that Orlando club shooting mm-hmm. when he raised the club at the at the club and shit. Yep. Like he based based that episode off of that. Yeah. So it is what it is, bro. Like. Yeah, man, that's fucking crazy. It, it's always true. So, so a lot of this stuff, bro. And um, even even the most the most fantasy of fantasy stories there's truth all in in that yeah so you know it's 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 so when people's like oh it's not real yeah the it's 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 actors is all kind of stuff yeah. but yeah. there's lessons to be learned and stuff to pay attention to uh, yeah bro it's it's hard to be original when society is so fucking crazy you mm-hmm. could like bro, bro you like years from now People are just gonna be pulling pieces of Trump's personality and making it into a villain, and it's gonna be so good. And then the writer's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, it took from like, well, who who was it? Um, fuck, I forgot what actor hung out with, with like Tom Cruise or some shit because it was like he he felt like a serial killer. <laughs> like I forgot what actor was. Oh my fucking guy's gonna kill me. Oh, that sounds funny to me. <laughs> nah, bro. I'm not even trying to be funny. Like the dude said, he just watched um, Tom Cruise tapes. Like I'm dead serious. He just watched my like, acting and everything because he said he's uh, um no country for old men. Oh, okay. Yeah. That okay. dude. Look, mm-hmm. watch. There's a video out there. If you don't believe me, go type that shit. And he actually said it. He fucking admitted it. He's like, you can see it, bro. Like this guy's a serial killer. He's like, I just played him. <laughs> he's like, that's the wildest shit ever, bro. Insane. Insane, bro. There's so many crazy people out here. You could write them into being a villain. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bassin is Bassin is just fucking super Trump. That's all. Yeah. Be right. That's all it is. Fucking right. That's all it is. And he's a good villain. Like you know what I mean? Like you know, at the end of the day, he's a fucking dope villain. Man, that's crazy, bro. One thing we didn't get, and I'm actually glad because I'm not. I know we talked about it every week a little bit, but I'm glad they didn't do the onslaught shit yet, bro. Yeah. Number one, <coughs> onslaught is too OP. <coughs> too OP, bro. Yeah. Too OP. I don't even want to see it. I wasn't a big fan of onslaught in his storyline. I didn't not care. And like, like it, it's too OP. <laughs> so I'm glad they didn't go that route, bro. But um, I'm interested. I'm interested to see how Wolverine's gonna how Wolverine's gonna pull out in this next season. And back to that post credit scene, Apocalypse is des- definitely resurrecting Gambit. Gambit, yep. I love the I love him just holding the card by the Queen of Hearts. And that Queen of Hearts, that's the card that Gambit loves because it reminds him of Rogue. Mm-hmm. So I'm looking for yo next. Right, he's, bro, we probably won't. he's gonna be like he's gonna be a, a for real a middle eleven mutant right now. Yeah, when Apocalypse resurrects him because he ain't gonna have no limiters on his power. Yep. Fucking throw, throw oh, thing. bro, bro. I might. They, he, he I did. might. He, hmm? I might need it. I might need like a full year for the, the recovery <laughs> and get ready for this next bro. Because, oof. Oh yeah, wait. This is so it's technically a spring show. Yeah. We might need a whole year, bro. Yeah, you know, you probably gonna get another year. Yeah, a whole year, bro. This shit's yeah, too fine. Good. It was actually it was worth it. Definitely gives a year. I hope you don't do what most shows been doing now. They wait like two, three years, and what happens? People lose interest. That's which invincible. Which is a sad. Yeah, invincible takes so long, bro. It takes so long, bro. And they don't even do the amount. They don't even do the same amount of episodes as um. Like uh, like X Men would. Oh, they just do eight episodes. Yeah, Jeff Bezos fucking paying The Rock two hundred and fifty million dollars to shoot a goddamn movie that he still delayed on about um. Oh wait, I oh you on trip man? How you think how stupid it is? Is this something about Christmas or some bullshit? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. If so if it's a rock movie, which is crazy, 
see because I mean I like The Rock, but his movies mostly are just the same. <laughs> it's not the best, bro. <laughs> not the best. Like he's uh, I mean he plays himself in every every thing. But sometimes that works. It works for Denzel Washington, but. <laughs> And the best movie Rock ever acted in was Be Cool. Oh, oh my God, dog. Him and Be Cool is the shit. The shit. 100% real acting. That's, 100%. that's the best acting job he's ever did. Be Cool and um the movie with Mark Wahlberg. Because he oh, played um, himself. Was it Pain and Game? Yeah. Yeah. That was good, too. You know why? You... He actually didn't play himself. Exactly. Exactly. And that's the difference. Mm -hmm. See, see what you did right there. I just told you. He just, exactly. he just, he's buying contracts where he's doing punch counts, so you only could hit him so many times. Yeah, that, you could only win. Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, come on, bro. Like, because he brought that. Because that's what they do in wrestling, bro. Like, he wants to control. You know, a lot of the wrestlers, some of the big time wrestlers had creative, um, creative control. Creative control. Oh yeah. So if someone like a Hulk Hogan, he was like, all right, we're going to, we're going to put the belt on, on your opponent tonight. And then he can come like right before the, right before the match. He's like, no, nah, we're not doing that. Damn. Yeah. Like, no, nah, we got to do it. This, or if I'm going to give the belt up, it has to be this way. It has to be a disqualification. Somebody got to jump in the ring. I'm not just going to lose out right. Like, so the rock took that mentality into his movie contracts as he started making money and becoming one of the highest paid actors in the world. He could do that. Yeah. I need, I can only get punched this many times. Mm -hmm. I can do this, but uh, uh, I can't get shot here. You can shoot me in the leg. Shit like that. Stupid shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it is what it is, man. Like, it, not every rock is bad, but he has he doesn't have the best resume. Because, but um, is it your char his character doesn't help his career, and it's nah. hard to tell him that because it's like he's a type of dude. Like, yeah, he's successful from that. But if B would have brought Be Cool and Pain and Gain type of acting to every fucking movie, his, that motherfucker would probably have been not just filthy rich. He probably actually got what he wanted and like had a real like fucking influence. Yeah, that's what happens sometimes. You don't have like the right people like nah, nah. You gonna fucking act. You gonna yeah. act act. Yeah, like, you were good at Be Cool. Like he was very like people don't understand that movie was good because he was like he did exactly he, five characters. Mm -hmm. the, he did so that's, that's the thing when he's more of a supporting if he could become a supporting actor mm -hmm. in most movies like he did in like he did in both of those movies we talked about yeah then he doesn't have to then he can't be himself because he can't take the lead exactly he can't take the lead because what did he do in wrestling when he was a side character in wrestling when he's rocky Malibu uh, mm -hmm. and, and all that shit yeah like it, it didn't pop off it popped off when he when, when he when he turned heel with, with the nation, and then he started to yeah. lead with the nation. Once he took the lead with the nation, he popped off. Now he's 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 getting the he's winning championships and all kinds of stuff, and he's on the forefront, bro. Like when he leads in wrestling, it works. When he leads in a movie, nine times out of ten, not so much. Because he, it doesn't translate to to the screen as well. Like Hulk Hogan tried to do that shit. Yeah, yeah. To translate. You're absolutely back right. Back. You're absolutely, absolutely right. right. And doing like it sometimes just because you might be that popular in the wrestling genre doesn't mean yeah. it's going to yeah. ultimately work out uh, the same way on the screen. Uh, John Cena, John Cena tried it, tried to be a lead and. Um, couple movies you know, didn't work out. Yeah, like, like, but John Cena works as a side character, mm -hmm. and, he, and he's funny as fuck when he's a now side he's a character. Peacemaker because he learned his fucking lesson, and Peacemaker he was like, I'm gonna stop trying to be like this muscle bound like yeah. hero. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just be on my fucking self and have fun and fucking act and like follow a follow a role instead of trying to become like you know what i mean make it by, by yep. myself yep like i'll i watch that black adam movie that was mm -hmm. just fucking what's his name 
that what was his name in um Hobbs? He was that was just Hobbs. That was just Hobbs with superpowers. I was like, what the fuck? That's it. It was there's no distinction, bro. Like he's just there's no distinction. When but when Cena like you said, when Cena played Peacemaker, he wasn't he originally wasn't the lead character because he was in Suicide Squad. So he's mm -hmm. in the ensemble class. He stood out and he stood mm -hmm. out because he wasn't leading. Mm -hmm. So now, now you can lead your own show because mm -hmm. you're still, we're taking that character. We're not taking John Cena. We're taking no. the character. You play that character like you just did. You got a great show. That Peacemaker show is one of my favorite shows, bro. Period. It's, very, it's good. One of my favorite Actually, shows. I actually went back and watched. I'd never really watched shows back, like especially. Yeah, that, and I watched. Lit, I went back and watched it. I was like, that show's pretty good. It's really good. It's, it's really it's pretty good. It's really good. I can't wait to see it again. But um, I want to see it again. Um, so yeah, man. But yeah, yeah. Tomorrow, man, we're gonna do the we're gonna do the pod. All right, bro. Well, you got it. So, so ho hopefully you're on tomorrow. So, I will be, man. Have a good night, bro. Yeah, man. Take care, my dude. Rapper, bro, we Take will, care. We, we'll, we'll do some more of these. Oh, yeah. I'm so down. My man. Okay. All right, bro. Good night, brother.